hello guys welcome to sure great success this video is on insertion short this algorithm is best and efficient algorithm for sorting a small number of element and if we are applying a sorted or almost sorted elements it will give the best case so here i have written the whole algorithm after the particular algorithm which is named as insertion short when this processor is finished we will get the sorted sequence as output we can understand it with this with the help of an example it is just similar to the way many people sort a hand of playing cards what we do is in terms of playing card we start with an empty left hand and we pick up a card from the table into the hand similarly we pick up the cards one by one and we sort it according to the positions so similarly the insertion sort works let's understand the algorithm first in this algorithm we have taken a variable j to the length of a for example we have taken an array of length 6 so we will so the j value of the j will be move on from 1 to 6 the value of a of j that is a of 1 or a of 2 a of 3 similarly the value goes on till the length of j and will be stored as a key then later on what we have to do is we have to place we have to arrange the value of j iteratively in each array and we have to compare the next value with the previously value whatever we have inserted if the value is smaller than the key then we have to swap the value otherwise we have to skip for example let's understand with the help of this example here what we have is we have an array with six values or six elements so firstly we have what we have to do we will start with the empty left hand as i have told you so we will start with an empty array i have just taken array of six elements so firstly what we have to take is we have to take the value of j is 1 and key of j that is 5 5 has to be placed here so now we don't have any element to compare similarly the value of j will be moved on to 2 after that the element the value that is 2 will be inserted and after inserting 2 i will be what j minus 1 so j minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 this will be i so this value will be checked that i is greater than 0 yes i is equal to 1 this condition and a of i is greater than key key is what key is a of j and the value of a of j is 2 here the value of a of j is 2 here and we have to compare it with value of a of i so a of i is greater than j then now what we have to do is we have to simply swap these values so in the next array in the same array actually value will be swapped so it will be what 2 and 5 similarly we have to insert one more element so 4 will be inserted after inserting 4 j will be here and i will be here because i will be j minus 1 now again we have to check again we have find that a of i is greater than key so now again we have to swap these two values now again if we swap these two values what we will have is we will get 2 4 and 5 now the next element has to be inserted it is 6 now again we have to check for the same what we have to check is this will be j in this case and this will be i in this case i is greater than 0 first condition is true and a of i is greater than key so a of i is j a of i is 6 so 6 is greater than key that means the condition fails now what we have to do is we have to just escape similarly what we have to do is so these elements are already sorted we have to insert another element as we have inserted one here 
we again have to check that is a of i that is 6 it will be i and it will be j in this case so a of i is greater than k because a of j will be the key a of j will be the key so as it is greater here what we have to do is we have to swap the values when we swap the values here it will be changed to what it will be changed to 1 and it will be changed to 6 now here comes the use of the loop what we have to do is now we have to again check for these two elements because now we again find out that the 5 is greater than 1 that means this value again has to swap then this value will also be swapped when this value will be swapped here it will be 5 and here it will be 1 as we got 1 here here it will be 1 and here it will be 5 so now again what we have to do we have to check for the key and the a of i when we check here is what we will get is 1 is less than 4 that means it has to be swept when it will be swept again it will become 4 and it will become 1 similarly we have to swap these two values also so finally what we will have is we will have we will result with the sorted sequence up to what we have inserted now what we have to do is in the end we have to insert the last element also so when we insert the last element we have to check for the same it will be j in this case and it will be i in this case now again we have to check so we found that 3 is smaller so we have to swap the value with 3 again we found that the order is not correct so again we have to swap value then similarly here also we have to swap the value then finally we will result with the sorted sequence that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so in the similar way you can see that the card card will be also sorted in the same way that is we have to put we have to take a card from the table and we have to put it at according to the best condition according to the best position so it will be considered as the average case best case will be if all elements are sorted and only one or two elements we have to sort in this case it would be considered as the best case and the worst case will be when see here worst case occur if the array is sorted in reverse order if the array would be like this 5 4 3 2 1 then what we have to do is we have to insert one time and we have to swap it from till the starting till the left in the every pass so we have to do it we have to do n swaps n times we have to do n swaps n times therefore it would be nothing but order of n square but if if there is almost sorted we have to do at most order of n times so this with the insertion sort works please like comment subscribe and share with your friends also thanks for watching